What's up guys, I'm Kenneth. I'm Tiamo. We're from Gunland Explores and on this trip we are visiting the Kalahadi. We didn't want to bore you with any tar road footage, so we're jumping right onto the dirt road just before Fonsales Res. We're about two hours, I think two and a half hours from the Kalahadi. We're really excited, it's going to be the first time that we visit this place. This trip is officially starting. Yeah! Our adventure started with us airing down our tires as we had a long stretch of dirt road ahead of us. Even though we were still hours away from the Kalahari, we already received a taste of the harsh but breathtaking Kalahari. As of 11 August, we just want to give an update to anybody deciding to visit the Kalahari. We were met by two decisions to either go and enter the Kalahadi through Uppington or at Kuruman we went to Fonsales Res and then there's a big stretch of dirt um, road between Fonsales Res and Askam. And we heard that the road is not in a good condition but I beg to differ, it is practically a dirt highway. We are averaging 100 kilometers an hour, really nice road, definitely not something that should um, hinder you from taking this route. A quick refuel and we'll be ready to head out early in the morning. We are going to go to the shop quickly to get some firewood. Um, if we can find it. We are hardy newbies, so... Made it to our first campsite of our Kalahari trip. We are staying at Tuerafiran campsite. We did strike it a little bit unlucky because there's a big, big group um, that has a booking over here and they pretty much took over the whole campsite. But nevertheless, it's not going to stop us from enjoying it and having a good time. So we parked the car now, we leveled it out, we're going to set up camp and then we're going to get the fire started. The rest of the day was spent setting up camp, enjoying a new place, lighting a fire and looking forward to our first full day in the park tomorrow. So tonight we are brying chops and bolts. What are you doing? Put warm socks on and pantoffles because it's cold. Morning guys. Okay, so this is officially our first morning in the Kalahari. It is absolutely freezing, freezing cold. But yeah, we got up now. We're gonna break down camp quickly and then we are going to take a nice early morning game drive around the Tuerafiran area, area. <laughs> and then we are going to head to Mata Mata that's where we'll be camping tonight, we're really excited We have finished packing up camp, all our camera gear is set up, we are ready for one incredible day. Tommy T, what are you looking forward to seeing the most? Lions, leopards and cheetahs. I'm here for the cats. <laughs> yeah, so guys, let's do this. Yesterday, we lowered our tryout pressures a little bit too much and the 
cold air just made the tires like at one bar so we just inflated them a little bit but we're still gonna have a nice smooth ride but now let's go to let's go We are in the Kalahari. This is our first game drive. This is actually our first taste of the park. stopped at home to see if we could find and see those leopards the people were talking about there were quite a few cars so everybody believes that they're still in the area they told us they've been there for three days straight but we went on top um, of a little um, dune just on the other side of home and we found like a bunch of um, springbok lying in the grass Okay, what did you just see? So we were just driving along and I saw um, well two black spots but it looked like it was moving very fast and as we got closer I realized it was two male ostriches but they, for a while it looked like they were just running with each other I don't know going to water or somewhere but then at the end here close to us right by the car we actually saw that the one was chasing the other one away so and then it looked like they had a little bit of a scuffle but yeah that's something we've never seen before We stopped at Achterlöni. We are gonna make a quick little snack before we head out further on the road to Mata Mata. 
so far it's been really incredible this place is absolutely beautiful like yeah it's completely different to the Kruger National Park but yeah we're loving it loving it and we hope we have some more epic sightings along the way what's on the menu for peanut butter and honey sandwiches but shows you last minute trips we don't bring bread and butter now so we use teaspoons for peanut butter <laughs> nice stretch the leg session here at Achterlöni and now we're gonna take on the rest of the road towards Mata Mata. Close it, you can go. I'll close. Shop. Mata, Mata. Hey, what's the matter with you? Frigo sauce, yeah. and I'm going to use a bun mark with like a snakey sauce, but in okay. okay. What are you making? I'm making chicken fregos on your pasta with some cheese. It's going to be delicious. Yeah, okay. We are heading out on our evening game drive, late afternoon game drive. We don't really have an exact plan. There's not a lot of options. You can only drive on one road. But yeah, heading this way, we really didn't see a lot of wildlife. Um, or like have remarkable sightings, let me rather say that. Um, we are now going to head to Craig Lockhart Woodall. Because we heard that the guide found 
uh, what, like a few, like seven lions there this morning. He said he does know that they did he, um, head into the dunes, but he says they're in that area, so that's our best bet, because most of the wildlife at the moment is more towards Tuerafiran side, which is also a bit strange because we didn't see that much there either. But let's hope for the best. Here we go. Lockhart Waterhole. We haven't had much action yet, but we had a very cool jackal sighting again. On this game drive that we're doing, we've seen jackals on three separate occasions now. Yeah. But yeah, it's really peaceful. We're just enjoying ourselves, having a good time. And let's hope we still have about 30, yeah, 30 minutes left. So who knows what can happen in that amount of time. So we are headed back to camp, Mata Mata, and about 10 kilometers from the gate we found two Cape Foxes. It's something we haven't seen before, so yeah, that's quite special to us. We are going to set up camp quickly. Mata Mata is incredible. If you're close to the perimeter fence, you are almost guaranteed a beautiful sunset. Today we had a magical one. But we're going to set up camp. I'm going to go shower. Tea's already showered. And then we're going to start the fire. And we are going to have an amazing bright night at Mata Mata. What would we do? 
without the jackery. No, it was incredible. Best purchase ever. Yeah, no. It is like literally the second backbone of our system. And the first? The Red Ox system. Whoop whoop. Definitely. <laughs> it's off? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna switch it on. And this number spy bunker. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the fire now. We need to get more blitz. Noted. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm.